This is hands down the easiest way to add a font to Final Cut Pro with no computer degree required. I'll show you the two fastest methods for adding fonts. And at the end, I'll share a little known secret for saving and reusing your favorite font styles. Time to font. All right, so the first thing to do is to quit Final Cut Pro. You can do that by clicking on Final Cut Pro in the upper left menu and selecting quit Final Cut Pro or even faster, Command Q for the win. So my favorite places to get fonts are Font Squirrel. It's a great place for free fonts and they're high quality fonts. They're not just a bunch of junky fonts all gathered there together. You can scroll and find one you like and then click on it and it gives you more information and then you can download it right there. The next place I like to find fonts is Google Fonts. Again, a great collection of high quality fonts. You can sort by category. You can search for fonts. Let's look for a big thick one. That looks cool. You can click on it. You can even type in your text to test it out. Ooh, fancy. And when you're ready, you just click on Download Family. It'll download a zip file. You can just click on that to open the zip file. And then to install the single font, just click on the TTF or OTF file. Double click on that and it's gonna open up Fontbook, which is an app that comes with your Mac and it's used to organize and keep track of your fonts. It'll bring up this and it'll say, do you wanna install it? And we'll click yes, install. Now we can search for it, fat face. We can click on it and here it is. If we double click on it, we can preview all the letters and the numbers and see how that looks. Okay, to install multiple fonts at once, you go up to file and select add fonts to current user or press command O and then navigate to your fonts. I have some saved here. Let's take a look at this variant. We'll go in here to OTF and you'll see I have a few here. So what I can do is select the first one and then hold down shift and then click on the next one. And so it will install these three different fonts. I'll click on open. I'll let Fontbook do its thing. It's going to validate the fonts, make sure they're good to go. And I can search to make sure it is installed. And sure enough, there it is, Varian. Awesome. Are you enjoying this video? Has it been helpful? If so, will you please give it a thumbs up so other people will see it? I really appreciate it. Coming up in just a second, I'm gonna show you how you can save your text and font styles. But first, we need to restart Final Cut Pro. I'm gonna press Command, Spacebar, and type Final Cut Pro, and then press Enter to open the app. Let's go to the Title Browser by clicking on this button in the upper left corner, and scroll to the Build In and Out section. Let's use this custom title. I'll drag and drop it onto my timeline above this picture, and I will move my playhead to where I want it to end, and press Option, right bracket, to trim it. So we have this text in here. Select the title and open up the inspector. If you don't see it, click on this button up here with the three sliders, and you'll see our title has been selected. We can add our own text here, we can change our font by clicking here, and let's use that font I just installed. Here it is, but I can't see it very well. So let's first go down here and click on show, and then we can click on this little guy and change the color. Let's try a uh, dark purple, nice. All right, let's go back up and I can change the size here and make it bigger. I can also change things like the alignment, make it left aligned or centered or right aligned. Let's go with left aligned. I can also adjust the vertical alignment and I can change line spacing. In order for that to work though, I need to select the lines I want to adjust. So I'll select those two lines and then I can reduce the space in there. Oh, that looks better. I can also change the tracking. How far out are the letters spread? I can adjust the baseline. I can make my letters all capital. So let's add a few little ones. And if I click all cap, it makes them all capitalized. And then I can change the size. Here it is at 100 and then they're capitalized, but a little bit smaller. We can also change the position of the text, the rotation and the size or the scale. We can do the position on screen as well. I just click and drag on my text to move it around, or I can adjust it here by clicking and dragging on these values. I can rotate it and I can use scale to make it uh, bigger or smaller. You can turn your text into 3D text, but that's for another video. If we click on show for face, we can change things like it's filled with a color or a gradient. That looks pretty cool. Or we can even add a texture to it. We can change the opacity, make it kind of see-through, and we can blur it a little bit. We can add an outline by checking that box, and then we can change the color of the outline and we can make it a thicker outline. You can also add a glow to it and change its color blur it a little bit more, and let's make it a little bit bigger of a glow, all right? And then you can also add drop shadow to your text. This adds a little bit of a black layer below it to make it kind of pop off the screen. We'll blur it a little bit and add a little more distance. So one thing that's cool is once we've got our text exactly how we want it, we can save that as a preset and reuse it again. So scroll back to the top of the inspector and you'll notice this little pop-up menu here. Click on that guy and we have some options here to save our text. We can save format attributes, which are just these right here, these basic ones, like the font, the size, the alignment, spacing, tracking. We can also save just the attributes. That's going to be these things down here, like the face color, outline glow, drop shadow, that kind of stuff. Or we can save both of them together. So I'm going to click on that, 
to save. I'm going to give it a name and then I'll click on save. Let's disable this title by pressing V and let's add another one. I'll select my new title clip. We can see that we have that word title in here. And if I just go to the inspector and click on here, I see that my style has been saved and I can click on that and it automatically adds it to the new title. Talk about time saver. You'll also notice that there are some other styles in here built into Final Cut. We have these cool 2D styles that you can play with. And all you have to do is click on them and it will automatically change them. There's also some 3D styles too. Now, over time, you might save a bunch of styles and maybe you want to organize them or delete them. I'll show you how to do that. Go to Finder and click on Go in the menu bar and hold down Option and you'll see Library pop up. It's right here. Click on Library, go to Application Support and then go down to the Motion folder. Then go into Library and look for Text Styles. You'll see our text styles right here. Here's the first one, second one, and third one. You'll also see some PNG files. Those are the images used to preview it in Final Cut Pro. Simply create a new folder in Finder and give it a name and then drag and drop the style file and its corresponding PNG files into the new folder you made. There are two PNG files you need to make sure you get in there. Now quit Final Cut Pro and restart and go into the inspector to the top and click on this and you'll see your new folder called styles and you can select your style and apply it right away. If you wanna delete some of these styles, you just go back to the same spot in Finder and select the PNG files and the style file and just delete them. Restart Final Cut Pro and go to the inspector and click up here and you'll see that it's now gone. So that's how to add and use fonts in Final Cut Pro. Now my friend Chris, he made this awesome video about adding pictures to titles in Final Cut Pro. Click here to check it out. Go on, you'll love it, I promise.